Hey guys, Will here, and I'm having a bit of a problem. It's a small problem, you might even call it a first roll problem, but a problem that I want to fix nonetheless. And what this problem is, is my smartwatch, my Pebble, and more specifically, charging the Pebble. Now I love this, love this device, it's great, battery lasts a long time, I get about four to five days out of it. But charging it is still a major nuisance because even though there are a couple magnets in the cable that are in theory supposed to hold it in place while you're charging, they are very weak magnets and easily come out without you even realizing it. So I'm going to design a part that will sort of go around the watch, be very small and thin, but lock the cable onto it so I don't have to worry about it coming off while it's charging. So I'm going to take a couple measurements, design it up in CAD, and then print it out and see if it works. So let's get started. So basically what I want to do is measure the pebble with the cable connected to it so I know where they line up with each other because I want the case to have a slot for the uh, cable end to sit there and then basically you just snap the pebble into place and the holder will hug them together. So I want to take all these measurements to basically get exactly where I need to have space for things and where I need to have them be close to the watch so it holds it uh, nice and snug and just make room for things like the buttons and the uh, wristband. So here we are in CAD now and I'm basically just designing a very rudimentary blocky version of the pebble and then I'm just going to extrude that up and use that as a baseline for the case itself. Even the wristbands are the size of the watch, which obviously they're not. But it's basically just to give me an idea of where things are and where I need to avoid things on the case itself. Now, for the case, my thought was to make this out of ABS so that it would be flexible and just have a very thin uh, base to it so that I can bend it a little bit and have it be really tight and have it covering the top, the top of the pebble as well so it all fits in place but you need to bend it a little bit to get the pebble in and out. So you can see that I'm using the design of the pebble from before onto this onto the base here to kind of get an idea of where things are and where things should be and designing walls to go around it. Like right here, this is where the cable will slot in and out of, and then obviously the end of the charging pl plug was over there on the left. And originally I was thinking of basically just doing the bottom, say three quarters of the watch, which you can see here, but I decided that really I think I should probably go the full size, and so I added room up top for the top of the watch as well. And I'm obviously making spaces for the buttons to go in, so I can put it in without having to press the buttons while it's in the case itself and then later on I'll actually um, make holes for the buttons so I can press them if need be. So now I've extruded the walls and I'm basically just going to design a roof essentially for the case itself and this will go over the top of the pebble a little bit maybe a couple millimeters into the top of the pebble and um, really hold it in place and obviously everything is nice and tight around the uh, pebble so it should hold it in place and um, not fall out. So that's the theory. Now I'm more or less done modeling it so let's uh, put it in Cura and slice it and then get it on the 3D printer. Like I said before I'm going to be printing this in ABS so I need to make my temperatures right for that. So basically about 240 degrees Celsius for the extruder and about 90 degrees on the print bed. Of course with a bunch of hairspray sprayed onto it just to help it stick even more. Uh, because this is a, such a small piece, I didn't think I needed a, a raft or a brim. So I left those off, didn't want to waste the material. Uh, make sure to turn the fan off because you don't want that on when you're printing ABS. And set the speeds and then hit save and take it to the printer.
Alright, so as you can see, this is now done printing. It came out pretty well, but let's see if it works. So let's get the cable and slide it into place through the slot at the bottom uh, right side. And then get the pebble and kind of just sort of angle it in and then snap it into place. And it's charging. So that works. Let's test it out and see if it'll stay connected if I uh, shake it around and uh, pull on it and pull on the cable and still working, still connected. So problem solved. Um, I can use this from now on and I have access to all the buttons so it still works. I wonder if I can, I can even wear it like this. Hey, not bad, huh? Alright, so I hope you like this. Um, if you want to get the model for this, I'll have a link in the description below to it on Thingiverse. Um, if you do want to get a Pebble, if you don't have one already, I highly recommend them. Uh, they're getting pretty cheap nowadays, so I'll have a link to those below if you're interested. Um, but I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you didn't, hit that dislike button. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought, and if you want to see more videos like this, uh, designing something and then making it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I will be continuing to make videos like this. Um, so if you hit that subscribe button, you'll know when they come out. Uh, thanks for watching guys.